Today is camera day. Time to put in a couple mock scrapes. I wasn't going to put my cameras in, but last year I had seven bucks total within a two square mile radius. We're getting pretty close to crunch time here for the first week of archery. Cutting it super close, but I'm gonna get in here and get it done. Taking the most direct route in without disturbing the bedding area. Right now I've got that bedding area about 250 yards east. And we're heading north. And it's perfect because right now we have a west wind. Perfect. I'm about 150 yards from our first set. Seeing sign everywhere. What I really like about this set is the fact that there's three springs. And according to the sign in the trails that I'm seeing, they're walking right along the freshwater springs. Yeah. It's a good setup because we have some, th we got a, a thick line of dogwoods and it runs up along the stream. And then it opens up a little bit over here to the left. And over there about another hundred yards, it gets thick. So between each spring, there's a good transition. And there's sign everywhere. I'll take you guys over and show you that fresh water. Definitely some good sign. Got some poop. And we got some more poop. And right here you can see there's a freshwater spring that runs down the mountain. And then a small bench. And then where I'm standing is another bench. And if I walk to my east, 75 yards, there's another natural spring that runs down through. And yeah, I'm definitely hitting this hard. As you can see, there's the other sp freshwater spring I was talking about. 75 yards. It's going to take a while to get in here, but take it nice and slow. We're going to be all right. And we got a good rub from last year. I got some more poop. There's yet another natural spring that runs down through. So there's three of them that run parallel right here. So the deer don't even have to go all the way down to the creek to get water. They can get it right out of these natural springs. And we got another rub directly underneath the tree is where we're going to be sitting. So the way I see it, we sit in these trees right here behind me. These deer just come from east to west or west to east. Right here above us and then below us, there's another trail that runs parallel. So two heavy trails running north or uh, east and west. And then you can see a couple other faint trails that are also running north and south. It's gonna be a pretty good setup. Yeah, you can see they're using this pretty heavily. There's a nice low tree right here. So we're gonna use that and turn this into a mock scrape. See if we can get these deer to stop here. I'm just going to take a little 
little bit of this twine. If I can get this branch a little bit lower so we got fawns coming through here, they can touch it too. I don't want to poke around here too much. I've already been here enough. So that's going to be the perfect height. What I'm hoping here is they're using this heavy trail to come down through. And I'm hoping this will make them come east and get them to go this direction. We'll see. So I got my mock scrape set up. I want to put my camera on it. So if they decide not to come this way, I can at least see which way they're going. This looks like a perfect spot for a camera. So I can see that trail where they're coming across and I can also see this scrape. Oh man, my mosquitoes are killing me. Alright, so there we go. Got a decent mock straight. Right behind that is the heavy trail coming through. And I got my camera. Right there. So I can see both the mock scrape and that heavy trail coming across there. All right, so that mock scrape. Got our trees back there. That mock scrape is about 32 yards. It's a good shooting lane. I didn't really have to do a whole lot. I can go up to our second spot, set up there by those acorns. I've seen some pretty good buck sign right here. We're about 150 yards from our first set. I followed this trail full of rub lines from last year. And there's at least three or four old scrapes along that whole trail. In fact, there's one right here in front of me. I'm gonna make a mock scrape right here. So, coming from our other spots about 150 yards away, there's a trail right here. And there's buck rubs all the way down through. Goes across that spring. There's three or four rubs right there. There's just rubs everywhere. I'm gonna set my camera up right here on the uh, scrape, mock scrape I just put in. My mock scrape, about 20 yards, just off to the side of the trails that all meet together. I've got my camera nestled right in a fell over root. I feel pretty good about this spot. In fact, if the wind's right, this is going to be my first set beginning of archery season. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, when you think you've got everything ready to go and set up, sometimes rethinking your strategy. I'm glad I did today. I'm glad I came back in here to put in some cameras and make a few mock scrapes. I'll be able to access this, this spot pretty easily.